Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at the new Wi-Fi enabled Kindle from Amazon. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to use the menu system on the Kindle. Now, the first thing to do to use the Amazon Kindle, of course, is to turn it on. Now it has a few different lock screens that it cycles between different authors that you can uh, download from the Kindle store. To turn it on, you go to the bottom, flip the switch, like so, it'll turn green, and then it'll switch on. So you'll get a look at the menu system. So this is my home screen on this one. You'll notice that uh, we are on a list of the titles that are listed on the Kindle right here. So all of these I can read. To navigate around any screen, we have a navigation panel down here, which allows you to tilt left, right, down, or up, and the middle button right here allows you to select. So to go down, we would hit the down arrow here, and that'll take us down to a title that we may want to read. And when we pick something that we want to select or to read, we'll click the button in the middle, and that'll actually take us through to the title. Now to read a book, what we need is the buttons along the side. We've got page back, page forward, and then have the same on the other side. So if we want to read, we'll click page forward. So we'll go to the next page, like so. So you notice when you scroll through the pages, it turns black and then turns back to a regular looking page. This is just refreshing the screen. Now to get back to the home at any point, we'll click on the home button that we see at the very bottom here. And that'll take us back to our home screen with all the titles that we see. We also have a menu button above the navigation panel. So if we click on that, it actually brings up a menu along the side, which gives us a few options here. We'll talk about those in greater detail later on. There's a QWERTY style keyboard along the bottom of the screen here that allows you to hit any of the letters in the alphabet. So if we want to start typing something to search for it, we would click through like that, and that'll allow you to type the same way in anything where you're entering a note or any other keyboard input on here. It doesn't have all of the keys that you would see on a regular notebook or desktop keyboard. To get to punctuation and numbers, you would hit the symbol button like so, and that'll bring them up. And then to select, you'll actually use the navigation panel along the side. And then when you get to the one you want, you'll press the button in the middle. That's a basic overview of using the hardware controls on the Amazon Kindle. Don't forget to check out the other parts of the series where we show you how to use the other aspects of the Kindle. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts of the series at butterscotch.com.